Frida Kaufing Chumi has harbored a lifelong passion for artistry in a variety of mediums, having initially created art in her youth in Danville, Illinois, utilizing clay from a nearby stream. She pursued her formal education at Vassar College, earning a Bachelor of Arts in 1961. After being inspired by an art history course during this time, Ms. Chumi continued her studies with coursework with the Art Students League of New York from 1961 to 1963 and the Academy of Fine Arts of Rome in 1963. Soon thereafter, Ms. Chumi began her career as an artist, having produced sculptures, jewelry, paintings, and drawings out of her independent studio since 1965. In addition to her artistic endeavors, she worked as an instructor of art at the Fine Arts Conservatory in Miami in 1968 and an instructor of ceramics at Grove House in Coconut Grove, Florida in 1970. From 1971 to 1975, Ms. Chumi was active as the president, a founding member, and an instructor of sculpture for the Continuum Gallery in Miami Beach, Florida. During this time, Ms. Chumi served as an instructor of sculpture at the Upstairs Gallery as well as an instructor of painting at Barry University. She had maintained her involvement with the Continuum Gallery as a treasurer from 1975 to 1983. Ms. Chumi has been further affiliated with the Tropical Audubon Society, the Conservation Foundation of the Gulf Coast, the Florida Public Interest Research Group, and the Florida chapter of the NARAL Pro-Choice America. Ms. Chumi has held a number of administrative positions with the Women's Caucus for Art and the Gallery at Mayfair in Coconut Grove, Florida throughout the 1980s. She was additionally recruited as an artist in residence at La Piedra Hawaii School for Girls in Honolulu in 1987. Likewise, Ms. Chumi excelled as an instructor of sculpture with the Metropolitan Museum of Art Center of Coral Gables from 1980 to 1989 and the Bass Museum of Art in Miami Beach from 1989 to 1992. In 1988, Ms. Chumi accepted a position as a teaching assistant at the University of Miami. She returned to her studies at the aforementioned university during this time to refine her skills in welding and bronzing, learning under a friend who worked as a sculpture professor before she graduated with a Master of Fine Arts in 1990. Ms. Chumi later contributed to the University of Miami as the president of sculpture from 1991 to 2002, in addition to an adjunct professor and a founding director of boundary between 1992 and 2002. During her tenure at the University of Miami, Ms. Chumi was presented with a grant from the Leslie T. and Francis U. Posey Foundation in 1989 and the Fine Art Achievement Award from Binney and Smith Incorporated in 1990. She has also been associated with the Fairchild Tropical Botanical Garden, the American Foundry Society, and the International Sculpture Center. Notably, Ms. Chumi's commissioned sculptures can be found in the lobby of the Melbourne Public Library in Brevard County, Florida, and the First United Methodist Methodist Church of South Miami, which features a bronze piece titled Cross and Flame. In recent years, Ms. Chumi found success with Art South as a principal, vice president, and instructor of foundry from 2004 to 2006. She further flourished with Miami-Dade College as an adjunct professor of foundry from 2008 to 2011. Accepting an award of excellence and art from the Downtown Development Authority of Fort Lauderdale, Ms. Chumi has been honorably featured in a number of Who's Who publications. Having displayed her art in a number of traveling exhibitions across Miami, Ms. Chumi is incredibly proud of her signature sculpture at the Metro Rail Station at the University of Miami, which was her first commissioned piece. She also fondly recalls her tenure in academia, as she was very satisfied watching her students progress into their own successful careers as artists. With myriad pieces to her credit, Ms. Chumi accrued much acclaim for her 2005 Marjorie Stoneman sculpture at the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas Biscayne Nature Center at Crandon Park.
A descendant of the Coffings of New England, Ms. Toomey has demonstrated an exceptional dedication to her family, including her loving husband, William Edward, her son, William Coffing, and her granddaughter, Ella. In addition to the support of her loved ones, she was inspired by numerous mentors, including Bill Ward of the University of Miami, her painting teachers, James and Neves Billmeyer, and her sculpture teacher, Conchetta Scarvaglioni. Retired as an educator, Ms. Chumi hopes to remain active as an artist as she is a firm believer in art acting as a vehicle of empathy and a conduit for culture.